I'm working here with brand marketers to promote. The opening of the museum will be here all weekend out on the streets with segways. Uh, this is the multimedia chariot. Take a look at that. Wow. So this is what you would expect uh, here at the museum, the newest in technology. We have over a 20 minute program playing on both the TVs and the uh, t-shirt TV uh, of uh, all media moguls wishing the uh, museum well. We have uh, Jim Lair and Bob Schieffer and Katie Kirk all wishing well the uh, museum in their opening. So this is the t-shirt uh, as fashionably the t -shirt TV. modeled by Crystal, your, uh, your friend here. Did you come over and show us that, Crystal? Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow, this is, uh, is it comfortable? Actually, it is comfortable. It's not too bad at all. Um, I think the, the thing going best for it is a woman that doesn't have such a large chest. It'll be quite comfortable. Okay, and do you think this is going to catch on? I don't know, it's probably pretty I think expensive it, I right think now. it would. I've told, you know, several people that, you know, we have TVs everywhere now. Everyone wants a TV, and, right. you know, this is no different. Everyone here loved this. They loved it. Everyone took pictures. Everyone had such a great response. So, I think it's going to be big. What has it been like for you to be out here this morning? The ribbon cutting ceremony took place, so there's a lot of folks here. It was very, very exciting. They had a lot of events. They had a, an eagle flying. They had bands playing. They had uh, several Several middle school children, the whole groups of kids coming out to uh, explore, and the museum all day is going to be free, so hundreds of people should be flooding in and out of the museum all day long, and we're going to be here all through the morning trying to psych some people up and get them inside. So when you're not wearing television t-shirts, what are you normally doing? <laughs> Well, you know, I do modeling throughout the city, you know, that's how I got this gig, you know, it's a promotional modeling job, so I do that a lot, I, I like what I do, you know, I'm very tall, very thin, you know, I try to make it work for me. Okay, well then you're fortunate to have those genes working yeah, for you, right? Yeah, exactly. So to speak, and uh, you're going to be doing other things, obviously lots of other uh, opportunities to oh, yeah. meet people yeah, and uh, get your name out there definitely, and so on. Definitely, You know, um, with brand marketers, you know, we're just trying to promote ourselves and, you know, we're trying to get in every facet of marketing throughout the United States and probably even further than that. So you do some traveling as well? Oh, hopefully. Hopefully. Okay, well, look good. You get a chance to get outside of the district, see what else is going yeah, on. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you got a great, bright future ahead of you. Definitely. So you might as well take advantage of it. Yeah. You've got the right attitude and you certainly have a beautiful smile. Well, thank so you. I appreciate that. All those that. things working for you. I just want to <laughs> say you. thank you. It's I, been a pleasure. I appreciate it. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you a little bit later as uh, we get inside the museum great. and take a look around. Well, you go in there. Have a great time. Okay, Crystal with Brand Marketing. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we'll see you later, okay? Right. Thanks a lot. Now, a lot of people didn't know what the museum was until they heard about, you know, this facility. Right. And were you involved in the planning and design of the yes. building? Yes. What we do you think a, of this design? How oh, did it turn out terrific. to be? It's terrific. It's terrific. This is our calling card to the uh, Washington visitor. A big, bold building. And, uh, we think and hope people are going to say, what's in that building? I want to go in there and see. <laughs> right next to the Canadian Embassy, That's which right. is a statement of in and of itself. Right. Down the street from the Capitol, which is kind of a nice building as right. well. Exactly. I want to ask you one other question. It must have been very exciting for you to see the turnout of people today. I mean, people are really yeah, charged really. up about this. Really. We, uh, you know, that's why we built this, is for the public. Mm -hmm. And so to have thousands of people here waiting to get in is uh, really very gratifying. See, there's so many great displays of newspapers from throughout the world here. We've got it in the front, just like you had at the old uh, museum over in Rosalind. But you've got a very spectacular facade, which is incredible. I mean, it's a real statement about architecture, as well as bringing people into the place. Well, I hope people will leave with a better understanding of a free press and will uh, understand that a free press is really the cornerstone of our democracy. Okay. And also, the, the big part of this is the Freedom Forum. And what, do you, what does the Freedom Forum stand for? What would you like people to learn about the Freedom Forum? The Freedom Forum's main mission is to try to help the public and the media understand one another better. There's a lot of misunderstanding, which uh, hurts the First Amendment. So we think this museum is going to go a long way toward that. And you have a lot of young journalists from all across the world yes, coming through here today. Mr. Overby, I want to take the time to thank, thank you. you so much. I'm thank glad you came pleasure through. To be with I hope you, you enjoy this day and remember it come, forever. I will. Come early and come off. Okay. Hey, what's happening? How you doing? What's your name? <laughs> hey, the, pre the museum press hound. <laughs> hey, this is fun. We're having fun at the opening of the museum, and we have the press hound right here, ready to do interviews. And behind it, we have the associate day one with the museum. I see you have a press pass, so everything's copacetic. 
and ready to do some interviews. Yeah, you have one of your fans here. Challenger is a 19-year-old male bald eagle that was blown out of a nest as a baby in a storm mm -hmm. and uh, rescued by some people and hand raised. He became a human imprint because he had so much human contact and was released into the wild twice, but it would always land near people and beg for food. The third time that he landed next to somebody, he almost got beat up by a man, so he was taken out of the wild, and the American Eagle Foundation's cared for him now for 18 years. So you've, course, rest, you've also been his, have you been his main handler well, then? Well, we so? have a staff of about 13 people that care for 80 birds of prey, including Challenger. And, uh, but uh, this eagle has flown at five World Series, uh, three Pro Bowls, Fiesta Bowls, Men's Final Fours, all sorts of major events across the country, including the Capitol Building, the White House, and the Pentagon. What's the wingspan? Uh, he has about a six-foot wingspan. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you get them to come back? They're sort of de they're dependent for food for right you for because he was hand raised by people. Mm -hmm. He he uh, relies on people for food, and he's trained to fly for a food reward. Wow! So Challenger is about how old now? This year he's nineteen years old. Wow! So eagles American, can live the to American, be. The American Eagle Foundation has had him for eighteen years. Wow! So this is Challenger and Mr. Al right. Cicero, who's right. his handler. Right. And uh, just want I'm glad you brought this here. So many people are Thank talking you. about this. Kids Thank are you. fascinated with birds, particularly uh, 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 bald eagles. It's not something you see. Right. When I understand that there are bald eagles native to Washington D.C. Well, there are now. There's I think there's a nest on the Potomac mm -hmm. someplace, and mm -hmm. of course Maryland and Virginia have an awful lot of nests. Mm -hmm. Challenger was blown out of a nest in a storm in Louisiana. That's where he's originally from. Are you familiar with the movie? I believe uh, uh, the To Fly, or uh, no, it's called Endangered Species. It was filmed know. here in D.C. and it was about bringing You're the bald right. eagle back to the yeah. I know the, I know the people, the uh, Earth Conservation Corps. That's right. Uh, I know them very well. We've worked with them actually. We've worked, uh, brought our birds of prey out to many of their programs in the past. Well, that's it is. and we actually assisted them with one of their eagle releases one year as well. So. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. You're with the American Eagle Foundation yes, as well? What is your name, sir? My name is Frank Fernandez. And you're uh, assisting Mr. Uh, Cicero today here yes, at this, uh, the opening of the museum? Yes, sir. What's been your experience and what um, brought you to this industry? Well, I uh, started just living next door to where the Eagle Foundation was, started as a volunteer, mm -hmm. uh, decided it would be neat to, to be with the Eagles, and they offered me a job about three months later, and I stayed with them ever since. And you've done a little traveling and so? I've been traveling all over the country with the Eagle Foundation. Where are you originally from? Uh, well, originally my parents are from Cuba. I was born here in the United States, and uh, right now we live in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Okay, so this is obviously a fun experience to come here to Pennsylvania Avenue and be a part of the opening of the museum. Yes, sir. Which is an immense building. Yes, and you'll get a chance to see a lot here today. Mm -hmm. And I know you've enjoyed seeing the uh, faces of the kids and adults who come through to enjoy this. Yes, sir, I sure have. Dave, the T H E E A J L E at AOL.com. And I'm assuming you have a website? Uh, www.eagles.org. Eagles.org. Eagles okay, that's easy to remember. Yeah, so. Bree, how long have you been doing this? About 17 years. 17 years. Yep. Since that little girl over there was a year old. <laughs> oh, so that's that's your. Uh, yeah, when she was a little baby, I saw. So she's really a chip off the old block then. Oh, yes. <laughs> Is that her daughter? You have a website where people can find out more about you? Yep. It's bigheadlittlebody.com. Okay, bigheadlittlebody.com. That sounds pretty original. Here's her card. Looks like she works with a variety of people. I'm sure that's what you're going to see today at opening day here at the uh, museum in downtown Washington, D.C. What is the style of this work? This is called caricaturing, correct? Yes, uh -huh. And you use uh, a felt marker and then you combine that with, uh, do you use pastels or do you use um, other kinds of... Only today we're using markers mm -hmm. because it's quicker. Yeah. But you've got very bold strokes and that, you, really, you really have captured her face. Yeah, these are great markers. You're going to like this. I, I'm looking at it now. It's really, it's very complimentary. Thank you. Okay, so. How'd it turn out? Oh, that looks great. Can we shoot up to the camera real quick? Take a look at it. That looks great. There it is. There's finished product. There's mom and son, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, Crystal. It's good meeting you. Okay. Nice meeting you. All right. See you